Hey folks, I want to talk about structural integration. And I know you've heard me talk about it, you've heard me write about it, I teach it, all of these amazing, wonderful things, but I want to talk about this one piece. And uh, that is, what is structural integration? And what is uh, the main ingredient, one of the main ingredients of structural integration? And I'm here to tell you very quickly uh, that structural integration really, to me, is a philosophy. It's a philosophy of body work. It's not a set of techniques. It's uh, not an algorithm. It's not a chart. Uh, it's not a path along the body that you work on. It's actually a philosophy. And uh, in the way that I teach it and in the way that I was taught, the concepts of structural integration are very much what hold it and keep it together. The main concept that separates SI, structural integration, from all other modalities is the concept of adaptive capacity. So now I've told you the big secret and you might think, oh, well, now I understand adaptive capacity, so I must know structural integration. Well, uh, not that easy, sorry folks. But what is it? What is adaptive capacity? And that's basically uh, when a practitioner asks them the, themselves the question, uh, is the client ready to take work, body work, in a particular area? And if they are not ready to take body work in that particular area, then where do I need to go to create the capacity to prepare for that type of work and then proceed to do so? That, folks, I have I've been exposed to a lot of other modalities, but that very simple concept, and there are others, um, don't, uh, don't be afraid, uh, but there are others and rest assured, uh, but that one concept is really key to structural integration. And like I said, it shows up in MASI, the way that I teach uh, uh, the Morales Method Academy of SI, and it shows up in how I was taught uh, structural integration. And I think it's very important to actually kind of pull back the curtain and tell people that this is uh, one of the main tenets of SI so that they understand that it's not a chart, it's not an algorithm, it's not a step-by-step -step protocol. Um, there might be a step-by-step -step protocol, um, but there is room to move around within that protocol based on this philosophy. Once you start looking at your work in that way, once you start looking at any type of work that, uh, uh, any type of work you do within the, uh, the, the uh, uh, with this concept of adaptive capacity, uh, I believe your work change, changes and I believe your work changes uh, into something that looks a lot like structural integration. So uh, that's it folks, won't take too much more of your time. Um, very excited about the way that we teach it. Please feel free to go to the Morales Method website. Please add in your comments below. I'd be happy to answer uh, any questions you might have. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in future workshops and sharing uh, my work of structural integration with you. And thanks for watching.